Yeah, okay, like I said, I dare you to debunk this thing. If that's what your goal is, I'm going to debunk this whole flat earth thing. Well, there's a few things. I'm going to help you out here, okay? I'm going to help you before you go into this. The first thing you need to realize, if your goal is to debunk flat earth, this is the first thing you need to realize. Never forget, we used to be you. We all started out that way. Start out, we had the same indoctrination, went to the same schools, read the same books, seen the same movies and documentaries. Same thing, we used to be you. None of us belongs to the Flat Earth Society. Say it out loud with me. None of us belong to the Flat Earth Society. So that better not be the first place that you look. Well, I'm going to go to Flat Earth Society, see what these guys believe. And here's a newsflash for you. None of us woke up one day and said, geez, where's the club I can join that's guaranteed to make everybody hate me, make fun of me, and ridicule me, and make my life miserable? Where do I sign up? <laughs> None of us did that. So don't make the mistake of saying, oh, this guy's a flat earther. He must be a member of the Flat Earth Society. That's just saying, oh, you say you're a Christian, you must be a Catholic. Oh, no, I grew up Baptist. You know? Don't go to the Flat Earth Society because you get all kinds of ridiculous stuff there. Like this. No one believes in the upward floating disc theory of gravity. Creation ministries, listen up, Danny Faulkner and others who repeatedly show the floating disc in space. None of us believe that. Watch the screen, okay? You're going to see this. And everybody that tries to debunk the Flat Earth puts the same thing in their articles and in their you know, video hit pieces and stuff like, Flat Earthers believe this is gravity. No, we don't. I don't know anybody. I've been traveling around the world talking about this for four years now. Nobody believes that. But it's on the Flat Earth Society website, so that must be what everybody believes. I'm helping you out here, trying to debunk. You guys don't know anything more about gravity than we do. The answer for everything, well, how does water bend? Well, gravity. Uh... You guys don't know it. Look, we understand what goes up comes down. We all get that. Everybody gets that. I drop this, it's going to hit the floor of gravity. How does it work? What is it? Nobody knows. And they'll even admit that. Neil deGrasse Tyson has even been put on the spot. What is gravity? He's like, you know, I don't know. We, we can predict it with the week. kind of know what it does, but we don't know what it is. So stop pretending like you know what gravity is. Nobody knows what gravity is. All right. You can't just insert flat earth into the Copernican model of the universe. Oh, flat earthers be like, <laughs> you know, like pancake. 93 million miles, sun, Mercury, Venus, pancake. None of us believe that. You're going to have to rethink everything. Like, throw all of that out. Start over. All right? But I can't tell you how many people that they depict the uh, flat earthers be like, <laughs> no, we're not. You are. Do at least some research, please, into the founding of these organizations. When you look into the history of NASA and JPL and start seeing it, look, this is founded by Nazis, occultists, and Freemasons, you know, and just, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, it's like, come on. Secret societies, occult practices and activities and stuff like that, Nazis. When you look into this, you're like, why am I ever believing something that's founded with, you know, that, that's the foundation of this organization, or these organizations. Please, I'm begging you, learn what a fisheye lens is and what it does to images. I can't tell you, and I still, st here I am today, still getting this stuff. People send me stuff like this all the time. Ah, proof the Earth's a globe! <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> See, it's a globe, dude! It's cathartic for me to do that every now and then. I, I gotta get out. Because that's what I hear in my head when you're sending this to me. All right, here's a little clue, right? If you, wanna, if you think that that's what the, you know, if, if Felix Baumgartner's over planet New Mexico, just complete the curve. Ooh. That's a small earth you're, li you're living on. No, it's called a fish eye lens. Oh, but still, I had people, even friends, or now former friends, telling me, right? Making fun of me, saying stuff like this. You are seeing what you want. Look again. Look beyond the flat earth gurus and their false claims. A fisheye lens doesn't curve things that much. No? How come you have the same curve 100 feet off the runway, Doug? 
that you have, you know, at 70,000 feet. Right? Same curvature, see? Look behind the guy's head. Hmm. Interesting. This guy's got a PhD. And he's, and he's trying to say, I'm stupid. And he's sending me this, uh, this as proof. And then you got organizations like this, physics.org. Physics students, right? PhDs. Saying, look, students captured curvature of the earth. Wow, check it out. You would have thought that the curved rope might have given them a clue. <laughs> or they could have stopped the video at four seconds and magically see the same curve at 50 feet that they saw at 100,000 feet. Fish eye lens. If you still have questions, get with Michael Solomon. He can help you out. You know? Please. Don't be, sent, don't be trying to tell me I'm stupid and send me this as your proof. And I get this all the time. How many others get the same thing? Am I the only one here? Anybody else getting that all the time? Chad, you getting it? <laughs> Man. You don't have a working map or model either. Ken Hovind, oh, I'm going to debate Rob Skiba, but first, Rob must provide an accurate map and model before I'll even consider debating him. I texted Rob Skiba on his uh, YouTube channel. I put a comment on there at 4 o'clock this morning. I woke up and I thought, oh, I'll just check and see. I've never been to his channel before. And so maybe once, I don't know. But anyway, uh, and I appreciate the work he's doing for the Lord. But I said, Rob, I accepted your challenge for a debate. See Kent Hovind official. Send me an accurate model or map of the flat earth and then call 855-BIG-DINO to schedule a debate. I suggest you read Proverbs 25.8 carefully, which means don't go to war with somebody till you've really counted the cost. If you want to have a debate with me, you better take that literally, okay? I have officially accepted your challenge to debate the flat earth topic. See my YouTube, Ken Hovind Official, July 8th and 9th. I don't want to fight against a cloud or the air. He that beateth the air, you know, talks about 1 Corinthians. So send me an accurate model and a map of your flat earth. And we will debate the various aspects of this controversial topic in this order. Number one, is the earth flat or round? Where's my globe, Nick? Did you? Oh, here it is, okay. Is it flat or round? Okay, that's, for only, that's the only topic we're going to discuss. Secondly, we'll have a second debate. Does it spin? Thirdly, does it circle the sun? Heliocentric versus geocentric. Four, does the Bible literally teach flat earth? Call me 855-BIG-DINO to schedule. And after you send me your accurate model or map. Newsflash, Ken. You believe the earth is a globe since Pythagoras, right? Eratosthenes, 2300 years ago. Why do you have 250 plus maps? None of them accurate. Well, oh, that's because you're trying to take a 3D object and turn it into a 2D object. That's not my problem, Kent. That's your problem. You believe you live on a, you live on a ball. So if you're going to demand that I give you an accurate map, you better provide one too. And when it comes to the model of the cosmos that you believe, we got Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku and others saying when it comes to our understanding of the cosmos, we are 96% stupid. We add up all the stars, the galaxies, the planets, the comets, the black holes, the dark clouds, everything out there that we can see, touch, smell, or taste. And it doesn't add up to give us the gravity that we see operating in this universe. So really we should be calling it the dark force. Because we don't know if it's made of matter. It could be a profound misnomer, sending people off in thought directions that might not really be uh, the right path. So dark matter is just simply what we call this thing about which we know nothing, responsible for 85% of the gravity of the cosmos. It is the longest standing unsolved problem in modern astrophysics. Dark matter, dark energy. Everything we know about the universe, what we're made of, galaxies, stars, planets, that's all right here. So according to this chart, we are 96% stupid. In cosmology, we're off by a factor of 10 to the 120. That is one with 120 zeros after it. This is the largest mismatch between theory and experiment in the history of science. 10 to the 120th power when it comes to your understanding of the model that you believe in. So don't come after us with demands that we need to look. I've been into this for what, three, four years now with no resources and no money, and you're trying to get me to tell you exactly what the map and model is of the cosmos when you guys have had $50 million a day and unlimited resources for like a, a century almost? 
in 2,300 years and you guys still don't have a mapper model yet? Please, don't come after me about that. And relax, no one's falling off the edge of anything. <laughs> oh, if it's flat, you're gonna fall off the edge? No. <laughs> no one's falling off the edge. You can relax, that's been taken care of. God's got you covered. Most of your typical top X reasons, we got top 10 reasons why we know the Earth's a globe. Okay, watch your videos. Whoa, I can make a 90 degree triangle on a ball. That proves the Earth's a globe. Really, that's one of your proofs? You can draw a 90 degree triangle on a ball, therefore, ipso facto, the Earth's a globe. Okay. Oh, when I look up, all the other stuff up there is spherical, so we must be too. Well, that's, that's an interesting assumption, but it's not a proof. That's like saying all the billiard balls are spherical, so the table must be too. Biblically speaking, no. This place is center stage, main attraction. Everything is up there to serve us. Hey, the lights are spherical, so uh, you know the platform must be too. It's an interesting assumption, but it's not a proof. So many of their other so-called proofs for why we know the Earth's a globe aren't much better than that. I found that all early because I was like, well, I was trying to defend this precious ball thing that I believed in. So I start looking for videos that I could use for my defense that well, I believe the Earth's globe. And I'm, I just, when I wasn't even barely into this a week, could immediately debunk eight of the top ten reasons myself with barely even thinking about it. So your 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 proofs are lacking, and your number one proof is photographic evidence. Well, we just looked at that a little while ago. How trustworthy is the photographic evidence? Not very trustworthy. Please try to keep up, keep up with the rest of the class. What do I mean by that? Well, you know, a lot of people come into it, and I appreciate some people come into it. You know, it's brand new. It's, it's new to them. So they launch into uh, accusations and, and questions and, and attacks. You know, well, how come this? How come that? Look, this is, I've got 500 videos up already. About 150 of them are just flat earth related. I'm one guy. Paul, how many videos would you say you've got up? 150? Chad, how many? over 100. Most guys would probably say the same thing, guys and gals. There's a lot of good researchers out there doing stuff. Easily 100 plus videos out there. We've been doing this for four years. Take a little bit of time before you ask a question to look into it. Maybe somebody's already dealt with it. You know, we don't have time to repeat ourselves. Please try to keep up with the rest of the class. If you're a Christian, uh, sorry to say, but the Bible's a flat earth book from cover to cover. It just is. So you can take a picture of it. You know, leave it up for five more seconds. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. That's what you need to know, at least getting started, if you're going to try to start debunking this whole thing.